Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's take you on a tour of, I'll show you, Oxford. So we are in Oxford today and the one of the first things that we saw was the Christchurch Meadow. This is one of the things that if you go search in Google to find or search anywhere to find out things to say in Oxford, this would definitely come up and Christ Church College is one of the other things that is in the recommendations as well. It is because look how beautiful is this building. That's why. And apparently some of the inspiration for Harry Potter movie was got from this college and you know where everybody sit down in the hall where they eat the food. I think this was one of the inspiration or apparently people believe that this was shot in there as well so it's a little bit on the pricey side to go inside the Christchurch and then also the college it's I think it's 16 pounds don't quote me on the price but it's roughly that price apparently this is because you know of the Harry Potter thing and also lots of people come to visit the colleges just to see the inside and take some pictures and they have put an entry fee for anyone who want to visit the college unless you're a student there. This is Oxford's coveted market. I think that's how, how you pronounce it. This is one of the oldest market and there are lots of unique sellers inside. You can buy jewellery, you can eat food, you can buy plants, you can get fruits, vegetables. There are lots of things happening in there and then it was busy around lunchtime but because we went on a weekday it wasn't much people in there. Again, it's one of the cute little things that if you Google what to see in Oxford, this would definitely come up. So we visited all this place before we went into our walking tour, which I would be taking you guys around as well. We parked our car nearby and then we walked all these places. Now we are in the Oxford town and this is where we're going to go for the Oxford walking in tour. So. This tour is a free tour and I will put the link in the description below. You don't have to pay anything, you just have to book so they can expect how many people are coming in and then see all the places. We did not go inside any of these places but we just went outside and then talked about what the building is like and what the building is about and the history of it and it was very very informative. Again, if you're one of the person that living in Oxford or thinking of moving to Oxford, this is definitely a good tour and you don't have to spend any money at all. But you can, you know, you can give some donations if you wanted to. This is Sheldonian Theatre and this is where the students of the university come in as a starting ceremony, I think, before they start the university and also a graduation ceremony is taking place inside this building. Next, we are going to the Hertford Bridge, which is joining the two buildings, but apparently this is where one of the most photographed placed in Oxford. And this bridge reminds a lot of people the bridge in Venice, so that's why the pictures are taken. And again, this is an amazing place just to walk around and see all the things. There is a pub on the side of the bridge, which you have to wait till the end to see where, which way we have to go there. Now we are going to the Baldanian Library, I think that's how you pronounce it. Fun fact is, if you have to get your book published, if you ever got a book published, a copy of that would be inside this library. I don't know when the start date of that is, so this is one of the largest library in the UK. And you cannot take the book home, you have to read it there, and then I will show you the reading room in it in a bit. Apparently some of the scenes from the Harry Potter film were shot inside this library. Again, to get inside the library you have to pay uh, entry fees to see the places. But you can walk around the building if you wanted to and I think that's free. So that's what we did on this free walking tour. This is our tour guide and it was explaining a little bit of the history. He is one of the students in the Oxford University. Now we're going to the Radcliffe camera. This is where you read the book from the Baldanian library. So you don't have to read it in there, you can still read it in the library. There's an underground tunnel which goes, you can take the book and read it in the Radcliffe camera and bring the book back. 
and there are colleges on the side i think that's the all souls college there are lots of colleges around oxford and they all link in with each other so you can do one co- course in one college and one of the modules would be you have to go and learn it in the other college because that's what they teach it's kind of how they work i'm not 100% sure how they work but if you're one of the people who really want to see oxford and just to see what the things around this tour is amazing and you get to do it for free and also walk around so if you ever think of like hmm i don't know what to do just book the tour it's free go and check it out and i don't get paid to promote at all because it's a free tour this is just my experience this is the sen university church of sen mary the virgin apparently you can pay 5 pounds the set of stairs you can walk around to right to the top and get a amazing view of the colleges and the radcliffe ca- camera and the bodleian library but we did not go because it was walking tour and we didn't have enough time to go in and check it out we thought we'll just come back and just check all the places out so after we went on the tour we did walk this way back so we can take some pictures and just walk around and just enjoy the view it was really sunny so it was a really good day to do the walking tour as well if you have enjoyed this video so far please give it a like share and also comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel again i have named all the places on the video so if you want to see these places just post the video check it out just google them all these places are really nearby so you don't have to take your car to go to one place or another you can just walk can you also please let me know in the comments below if you like to see the shorter videos or the longer videos so i can make the edit according to that i feel like the shorter videos are much easier to view so please let me know in the comments below So after the tour we went back to all the buildings and took some pictures and walked around just to so we could see it in more details because when they were explaining the tour you had to get to one place to another because the tour was only for 2 hours so we have to see all these places so we if you wanted to go back and see you can because we did not go inside of any of these buildings we just went outside of it so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and let me know what you think of these places and if you ever want to visit them now we are going to get some food so you know when i told you about the bridge on the side there's a pub so this is the pub so you walk around in this dark alleyway and you go inside and you enter into the pub you would probably think that something creepy but it's not so we just ordered some chicken wings and some fries and some burger so i'm going to end the vlog here and i'm going to pick it up on my next one to show you more and other things that we saw in oxford thank you for watching see you next time